Hey guys, this is Kevin Doherty, and what I'm going to do in this short video is I'm basically going to take one of the most popular WordPress plugins and I'm going to transform it into a very powerful lead generating and email marketing tool by using the Pro Lead Capture software. Now, you can probably guess from the title of the software itself that the plugin that we're going to enhance is, of course, Contact Form 7. Now, a couple of things about Contact Form 7 uh, that you can see. One is that it's extremely popular. It's had almost 13 million downloads as of October 2013. And despite all those downloads, downloads, it's still maintaining an average rating of well above four out of five stars. Now, that tells me that this is a really super effective plugin. People like it. It's bug free. Um, it works, etc., etc. And you can see here that it's also um, up, updated um, reasonably um, frequently. Now Contact Form 7, uh, for those that don't know, is a very great way to add contact forms to your websites. Now contact forms are very essential uh, for capturing site traffic and to ensure you've captured leads. Um, they're very good at forcing users to provide the correct details, very good at protecting you from spam and crawling. Um, typically it's very simple to understand, basic instructions, nice simple UI and also highly customizable. This is a very simple form. But um, if we go to um, so if we go to contact form seven here, which is a, as I said, a WordPress plugin, uh, that form you just saw there is, is called welcome contact form. Uh, and all you do is you, you copy and paste the short code that's provided to you from within WordPress. Uh, and you can basically enhance that form as much as you want, but obviously I'm just keeping this nice and simple for this demo. But what we're gonna do with Pro Lead Capture is basically we're gonna enhance those forms to do some additional but powerful bits of functionality. Um, so this is the Pro Lead Capture plugin here. They're very easy to install. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to integrate uh, the contact forms to work with your email autoresponders. So if we click here, this is where you would um, select your, um, your uh, autoresponder. I've actually selected Aweber. Um, I've already connected. Um, I'm not going to show it here, but essentially just basically give permission for WordPress to access your, um, your lists. And then they give you an authorization code. Um, and then the default list I'm going to keep is, is this one here. Okay. And then what you do is in order to add that integration to your forms is you need to actually select a form, which we'll do now. So I've only got two forms that I've created using contact form seven. And the one I'm interested in here is the one you've already seen, which is the welcome contact form here. You'll see that it's automatically updated to take my default settings that I'd set up before. Click submit. And um, what we then do, what you would then do, is you would go back to your to contact form seven, and you would take the um, the relevant code, um, the short code here, and you would add that to the page where you wanted the form to go to. Now, it would actually automatically be there already if you've already done it once, but this is what you would do because it's the same code, but you would paste it into your post or page here. I'll quickly update that. Now, what we do is we go back to the um, the, the website here is I'll just refresh that to make sure it's all going to um, set up nicely. Is that normally what happens is contact form seven is great at just capturing the name, the email address, and the message. What it doesn't do is um, capture um, the email address. Okay, and we'll just do a nice obvious message here so we can show you in a second and click send. Now, two very important things happen here. Okay, the first is if I go back to my Weber account directly now, uh, hopefully I haven't done this too quickly, but if I refresh, okay, you can see the list there, is hopefully you'll get yeah, great. Okay, so it's just automatically then captured that email address that I just popped in there, as you can see there. Obviously it says confirmation pending, because I... you would need to select the, um, the the permission to opt into that particular list. But we've also, um, so that's the enhancement to email autoresponders, but there's also another powerful enhancement that we've added to Contact Form 7. And that's if we go into, um, back to our uh, dashboard here, oh, sorry, back to uh, the Pro Capture here. And if we select the um, data log, what we also do is we store all the leads that are captured through the Contact Form 7s into the back end of WordPress. Now, this is really good because it's, it's, there's lots of different views you can have here. So um, you can select the form you're interested in. In this particular case, it's the contact form seven. And these are all the leads that are associated with that particular form. Um, you can filter, you can search, which is good because once the list becomes quite popular, 
uh, sorry, quite full, it's important to do that. Um, but you can also, let's show 100 entries here. If we scroll right down to the bottom, I have, that's the one that we did just now. And you can see here that it's captured my email address, the message, my name, uh, and the subjects, etc., etc. Now, what's important here is um, for those that don't want to use email autoresponders, you could just use this. Okay. Uh, and last but not least, you can also export all this to a, an Excel file, which you can see down here, which is fantastic. Now, the last thing I want to show you is this uh, show widget data log. So what does that mean? Well, one of the beauties of this software, again, is you don't need Contact Form 7 to have all these benefits uh, um, that you've already seen. If we go to our appearance here and go to widgets, we also provide uh, a widget to put this uh, integration that you see. I'm going to put this right at the top, sorry. So let's just create a widget now. Let's call it test. And this would be, um, it ships with four templates, by the way, but you can actually create your own custom code. It's entirely up to you. And this is for people that don't want to use Contact Form 7 but still want to have the benefits of the integration to um, your email list. Now, uh, let's uh, set that one there and click Save. Now, if we go back to um, a, a page here and just refresh it, um, what should happen is that, here we go, great. So this is actually now added this widget here to the side of the page and again you could put in some details here test 50 email test that's test.com uh, you understand you get the picture click subscribe and what's happened here basically is that again has been captured it's been captured in your uh, autoresponder but again if you're not using autoresponders and you go into your um, data here what you can then do is rather than looking at the um, contact form data log, you go to the show widget data log here, and you can see here, here's this message that I've just captured here, test 15 test at the email address that I made there. So I hope you can see the power that this um, contact pro lead adds. Um, you're basically taking the success of an existing popular plugin, which is Contact Form 7, which we know works. It's proven that it works with all the downloads and all the people that like it. But basically, we're filling the gaps or closing the gaps in functionality it doesn't have. Namely, the ability to integrate your email autoresponder and B, the ability to capture those leads um, in the back end of your WordPress site. And last but not least, we're also giving you these fantastic widgets that you can put into your uh, websites and again, uh, make sure that you capture people's uh, details for effective uh, lead capture and email marketing. Now I should point out that um, there are developer and resites, resale rights available uh, when you purchase the product. Thanks very much for your time. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact Himanshu and the guys that are at HSoft uh, and they'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks very much for your time. Bye for now.